Hey, it's Kelly for iHeartRadio Biloxi, and it's one of my favorite days of the week, and I have the Humane Society of South Mississippi to thank for that, because every week, every Tuesday, they bring in a pet of the week, and this is Valerie from the Humane Society of South Mississippi. Tell me about our friend that you brought oh, in goodness. today, if you would. Zoe is one of our favorites. Zoe is a terrier hound mix, and she's just under a year. She's about eight months old, so she's got a lot of that fun energy and uh, absolute sweetheart. She really has never met a stranger. She loves everybody. She rode great in the car. She walks good on the leash. We're still working on training. As you can see, she's treat motivated, <laughs> and she has this one trick down. Wag your tail. Wag your tail. This? Good girl. <laughs> yeah. She's like a puppy genius. <laughs> but she came in as an owner surrender. Her owner said they didn't have room for her. Aww. So we're looking for somebody that's got a lot of room in their heart and in their home for her. Okay, um, I'm kind of curious, is she going to get much bigger than she already is, or do you uh, know? Like, one clue is to look at their feet, uh -huh. uh, and if they have big paws, then they're probably going to grow into those paws. Being that she's about eight months old, she's probably not going to have a whole lot of growing left, but she has yeah, medium to big size paws, so she's probably going to get a little bit bigger, but she's not going to be much. giant. Just your typical hound dog size. She's a good size for a dog. Mm -hmm. You know, she's not tiny, she play. Uh -huh. and she's not huge, so I kind of like, she's just adorable, mm -hmm. and she keeps getting in front of the camera, which is cracking me up. She's like, <laughs> I'm ready for my big roll. Yeah, you are but, big, um, aren't you? Zoe is not the only um, fur friendly or fur person that we have at the Humane Society of South Mississippi that's waiting on a forever home. There are lots, right. right? Yeah, there are lots. In fact, our capacity is 289 and we currently are at just over 380. So we have a lot more animals at the shelter than we have space for. Okay. And when that's the case, we'll start taking crates and we'll put in in the hallway if we have to. We'll start bringing them into our offices. Um, we also will utilize our fosters we have about 127 animals out there right now on foster and that's on top of our 380 and about 70 percent of those animals come back so there are a lot of animals at the shelter do you get a lot of christmas adoptions we does do. that happen over the holidays yeah, we okay do. and that's a good thing for people who have put a lot of thought into it so um you know we want you to have a christmas puppy but we also want you to make sure that that animal that you're taking in is going to be an animal that you have time for and that you put a lot of thought into so basically don't surprise somebody with a puppy or kitten this year, you know. If you are going to get one for the kids, bring the kids along um, to the shelter and let them have a little say in picking it out. Um, if you want to get one for the girlfriend, let the girlfriend know. Let her pick out her own dog um, because it, it's a very personal thing when we get an animal. We want to make sure it's the right animal for us. It is, and thanks to the Humane Society, I have now had the experience of a pet kind of picking me. Mm -hmm. which uh, I had never had before. And there really is something special about that. Like it creates a bond um, that I feel like you wouldn't experience unless you right. met all the animals beforehand. So thanks for coming Thank in. You. And, um, and happy Thanksgiving Thank you. To happy you. Thanksgiving. And mentioning Thanksgiving, we do have a special. Um, you know how everyone does their Black Friday specials. We do our Black Fur Day special. So Friday and Saturday, we're going to have fee-waved animals. So everybody's going to be fee-waved on Friday and Saturday. So come by and see who's available. Okay, and look on our website. We've got links to the Humane Society, and we've got all kinds more info up there. So check it out.